And this is my big point analysis over Ecolab and Lionel. So to introduce Ecolab is one of the global water leaders in the world. They provide water, hydrogen, energy technology and services to multiple business in more than 170 countries. Um, services are provided around us every day and we don't even realize it. So like in restaurants, if you go and wash your hands, you'll see things provided by Ecolab, like the toilet paper seats or the hand soap or anything like that. Um, it's, the, um, it's in multiple fast food uh, chains and it's for sanitary and safety purposes. It's in hospitals, healthcare, industrial, and the oil and gas markets. Ecolab, they believe in keeping their products and services clean and safe, ensuring that it's operating at its full potential and achieving its sustainability goals. Um, there are about 3 million customers, customer locations, and a 95 uh, year history worth of innovations, 9,400 9, patents, and 4,900 4, associates. So, Lionel is kind of similar. They kind of do the same thing, but you hear about Lionel a lot in a lot of multiple places not just like sanitary, in my opinion. So Lionel is one of the largest chemical, plastic, and refinery companies in the world. Um, their vision is to produce materials that are key advancing to solutions. The goal is to ensure the safety through full and lightweight packaging while protecting the purity of water supplies through stronger pipes, improving the safety, comfort, and fuel efficiency of trucks, cars, and making sure that electronics work efficiently. So the difference between Ecolab and Lionel, they kind of like different. I feel like Lionel focuses on more things and purifying things while Ecolab focuses on being more sanitary, which they both kind of go hand in hand, but Lionel does a little more. However, these companies are both popular. Okay, so I conducted this nice little dew point analysis of the time series and cross-sectional analysis. Okay, so just kind of explaining what everything is so that we can get a clear understanding. Um, liquidity ratios is defined and used to determine a debtor's ability to pay off past debt without having to raise external capital to properly uh, measure liquidity. We should compare current assets and current liabilities and convert them to cash. The three different types of ratios that are taken process is current, quick, and cash. A company should always strive to have more decent current ratio to meeting their goal or obligation. In addition to this, if a current ratio is extremely high, it could cause an un unforeseen issue that could result in the company not being able to reach their obligation. Um, after taking a close look at the numbers, um, it was easy for me to break the performance of the companies. Um, so let's take a look up here. I'm going to move on the computer. So for your liquidity ratios, you have Ecolab for the 2014 at 1.64, um, 2015 1.08. 2016, 0.92, 2017, 1.07, and 2018, 1.26. Um, this is for your current. So for your quick, you have 0.93. For 2014, you have 0.63. For 2015, you have 0.39. For 2016, you have 0.47. For 2017, you have 0.53. For 2018. Um, for 2014, 0.74 for 2015 and 2016, uh, 0.60 for 2017 and 0.53 for 2018. And for 2014, uh, for your cash, for Ecolab, we have 0.61 for 4, 2014, 0.36 for 2015, uh, 0.19 for 2016. 0.23 for 2017, 0.24 for 2018, and you have for Lionel 0.32, 0.24 for two years, uh, 15 and 16, and you have 0.14 for 2017 and 0.13 for 2018. So after taking a closer look, it was easy for me to you know write the performance as I said before. 
Based on my conclusions, it can be concluded that 2014, 15, 16, 17, and 18 or efficient years for Ecolab. They had no problem paying their debt back as well as for um, Lionel as well. They had no problems uh, paying their debt back. But my concern is for Ecolab and uh, Lionel for their current, it was a little high in my opinion. So um, comparing Ecolab to Lionel, it can be inferred that Lionel has slightly better numbers than its competitor. Throughout a five year span, Lionel could keep their current ratio steady. It can also be concluded that they were efficient converting their products into cash. Lionel would have less worries as opposed to their competitor which is Ecolab. Um, if I had to make a choice in which company I invest in, it would be Lionel, considering that they had better maintain, maintenance and manage. So your efficient ratios are best described, um, used to analyze how well a company utilize their assets and liabilities internally. By using efficient ratio, ratios, one can explore the turnover or receivables, repayment on liabilities, usage of e equity, and much more. Ratios can be used to track and analyze investment banks. Ecolab average at collection period range from 39.12 and 40.22 over a period of five years. So we're gonna take a look at the efficient ratios between Ecolab and Lionville. Sorry, I can't point to it, it's too hot for me. So your daily outstanding sales I'm sorry, day sales outstanding. You have 40.2, 24, 2014, 39.60 for 2015, 41.32 for 2016, 38.39 for 2017, and 39.12 for 2018. Um, for Lionel, you have 23.34 for 2014, 24.90 for 2015, 26.64 for 2016, you have 21.74 for 2017, and 20.37 for 2018. Um, for your inventory turnover, you have 4.35, 2.07, 1.85, 2.04, .04, and 1.99. So instead of just saying the years, I'm just gonna read out the numbers and you can um, infer that it's from 2014 to 2018 over a span of five years. So for the production cycle, you have 83.92. Um, for Ecolab, 176.72, 1 179.06, um, 179.04, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1 183.62. For Lionel, you have 92.48. 186.47, 2, 193 point sixty-nine, two twenty-four point seventy-nine. Your total asset turnover for Ecolab is 0 0.39, 0 0.43, 0 0.43, 0 0.049, 0 0.51. So you can see for the asset turnover for Ecolab, um, it wasn't bad at all. It was actually pretty steady. For Lionville, there's kind of fluctuated a little bit. It was 1.48, 1 1.62, 1 1.55, 1.56, and 1.50. Um, they started off low and then they went a little higher as the um, years increased. Your account receivables turnover is 19.76, 10 10.07, 10.14, 10.69, 10.61. Um, for line that was 21.83, 11.03. 10.79, 11.46, and 11.51. You can see there it went from really high to mm, kind of sort of low. And then you have your day sales inventory, 167, 85, 186, 10, 217, 9, 99, 177, 34, 193, 19. And for Lionel, you have 184.96, 188.73, 212.26, 213.64. 226.47. For your days payable outstanding, you have 66.6, I believe, 66.47, 76.36, And Lionel had 97.82, 104.73, 106.66, 103.67, 103.69, 103.71, 103.72, 103.73.
around 835. So you, you can see like it's a significant significant difference between the days of Caleb were outstanding between the Ebola and the Lyme. Um, the conversion cycle, um, you have Eco Lab at 141, 88, 153, 29, 82, 95, 139, 67, 145, 05. And Lionel, their numbers were lower than Eco Lab. It's 110, 48, 112, 90, 132, 24, 130, 170, 138, 50. For your Caleb's turn, uh, turnover, um, in this case, Lionel's was lower, yeah, was lower than Eco Lab. So it's 28, 45. Uh, 14 point 44 13 86 13 45 and 12.15 as opposed to Lionel that was 20 62 10 51 10 49 10 67 9 91 9 91 um sales to working capital ratio was 175 but I'm 47 negative 801 um 13.61, 10.72. And Lionel was 11.50, And the capital intensity ratio is 2.59, 2.34, 2.32, 2.06, 1.95. And Lionel's was, all of, for all of their years, it was less than one. For the average collection, um, Ecolab, they started off at 1847, but they um, kept a steady number in the 30s, ranging from 34 to 36. Lyondale started off at 16, at 2014, um, a little bit two numbers behind Ecolab, and they also stayed in the 30s. They averaged from 31 to 33. And the average payment cycle was 12. They started off at 12 in 2014 for Ecolab, and they ranged from about 25 to 30. And the same for Lionel, they started off at about 17, um, slightly higher than Ecolab, and they ranged from 34 to 36, which is it's not good at all. So, a company turnover rate can either go good or not so good. Inventory turnover is the aspect represents how successful a company sold inventory that they have had or replaced shortly. The company goes should always aim for a high number one. One may ask why, well, it's important that the business create and sustain high revenue. The quicker a company can sell its products and get new ones in, the more people who want to buy and the more customers that they will get. Um, as I said, Ecolab numbers started off in the beginning high, 4.35 in 2014, but ended with 1.99 as of 2018. Um, just going over the production cycle a little bit more. They showed efficiency of how their inventory became finished goods between 2014 and 2018. The numbers were 83.92 um, and buried to 183.63. Line their numbers was 92.48 through 224.79, which illustrated how things were not so good. Um, both companies faced dramatic changes in their inventory, although one company dropped faster than the other, it still wasn't. Um, it wasn't a good idea. It could be concluded that both companies wish for something different and experienced a foul outcome. All of the companies aspired to achieve declining production cycle, but they soon fell short, shows their poor production growth throughout the years. So, moving on to leverage ratios. Let me move this one down a little bit so you guys can see it. Okay, so with leverage ratios, they're used to determine a if a company will have success um, meet to meet their long-term obligation. Between 2014 and 2018, um, between 2014 and 2018, Ecolab percentages were from 49 to 50. Average and they stayed in their range. Lionel averaged about 51 to 60 over the same amount as Ecolab. And the result, both of the businesses are in the green because of low debt ratio. So that's good. How many minutes? You have 15.